Hi friends. Hear that noise? That's a good noise. That's my furnace starting. Uh, a couple of days ago, that wasn't happening, and I had to figure out how to make it work. Uh, I could have called for help, and I should have called for help, but I'm not the smartest person in the world. Listen to that. And uh, so I decided I would try to fix it myself. Obviously it worked. It was a simple fix, and I'd like to show you how to do it, because if I can do it, pretty much anybody can do it. Okay, here is your furnace shutoff switch, and you want to make sure it's off when you're playing in here. Um, there's also a gas main uh, shutoff, which you're probably going to want to know where that is too, just in case you screw up. Uh, this happens to be a Concord 80 plus furnace, and this one's pretty simple to pull off. Just going to do that. And what you'll see, this is the fan. It spins. Now I'm going to give you the real names to these later, but basically uh, this right here, there's a, a tube that goes right here to the fan, and that blows air there, and it actually creates a connection that's needed in order to start everything. Uh, down in here is actually where you get like if you see right there, that is the ignition. Right there is the, you can see it right there, that is the flame sensor. And what was happening was I would get power. This would kick on and then you'd expect there to be ignition here. No ignition ever happened and then it would shut down after maybe a minute or so of running. And so what I did was a whole bunch of things. I, I took out and cleaned, and you can see it from up here actually, this, oh geez, right there is the flame sensor that's right there. This is actually kind of one, all right? I took that out and I cleaned that because that can get uh, gunky and then it doesn't read if there's a flame. But I wasn't even getting that. What's supposed to happen is that right there is supposed to ignite. And I, it wasn't even getting warm. That For some reason, I wasn't getting a connection. And I checked to make sure I had gas flowing. I had gas flowing. I checked everything I thought. And then I came up with something silly. And it was this right here. All right. I took this tube out and actually blew through it which is probably not safe, but I did it, and it was not an issue. Then I checked there, no issue, and then I pulled this out right here, and that area right there was full of just gunk. Let's see if I can get it. You really can't see it now, but boy was it nasty. And I cleaned it out with my Leatherman, Put it back on just like this, nice and simple. A lot more simple when you can see what you're doing. And it worked perfectly. That was the only issue because it wasn't basically pushing in here and creating some kind of a magical connection. It works now. And so I'll start it up and we'll see what it sounds like normally. I was going to uh, disassemble that so you could hear what it sounded like, but then I was afraid I'd screw it up. Okay, that's the fan starting, and it's creating that suction to there. And let's go in here and see if it lights up. Oh, look at that. didn't cost me a thing, and I didn't break it. 